Welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners, and I thank you for joining me today. So you want to make sure that you do stay tuned to later on in this video because I do have information on my next giveaway and how you can enter and what you're going to win. So stay tuned for that. So back to this video here. This is on the Great Dust Bowl of the 1930s. Now, there was a lot of stuff that was going on during that period of time. I'm a huge believer in history repeating itself and coming full circle, if you all know what I'm saying. Okay, the Great Dust Bowl, it was um, a decade-long natural man-made disaster that was catastrophic in biblical proportions of the worst man-made ecological disaster in American history. It is a classic tale of humans really, if you want to say, pushing too hard on Mother Nature and Mother Nature pushing back during a period of, of economic boom and bust in the 19, from the 1920s, really, because that's where it started that led up to the Dust Bowl right through to the 30s to almost the beginning of the early 40s. So I hope you enjoy this little clip here. I got a little presentation for you on the Dust Bowl and some of the things that had happened. And stay tuned, and I'll be back right after you watch this. Catch you in a minute. Sunday, April 14th, 1935, at 6 p.m. at night, the Dust Bowl began. Known as the Dirty 30, started in 1930, lasted for about a decade. It's a long-term economic impact on the region was for a very long time. The Dust Bowl was a period of severe dust storms that greatly damaged the ecology and the agricultural of the American and Canadian prairies during the 1930s. A severe drought and a failure to apply dry land farming methods to prevent the wind erosion caused the phenomenon. The drought came in three waves in 1934 to 36 and 1939 through 1940. But some regions of the high plains experienced drought conditions for as many as eight years after that. With as insufficient understanding of the ecology of the plains, farmers had conducted extensive deep plowing of virgin topsoil of the Great Plains during the previous decade in the 20s, folks. This has had displaced the native deep-rooted grasses that normally trap the soil and moisture, even during the periods of drought and high winds. The Great Depression was also going on pretty much during some of this time, and it lasted from August of 1929 to June of 1938, almost 10 years, while this Dust Bowl was going on. So there was a lot of stuff that was happening that caused the famine and the lack of food and the rationing of a lot of different products. The economic depression coupled with extended drought, usually high temperatures, poor agricultural practices, and resulting with wind erosion all contributed to making the Dust Bowl. The seeds of the Dust Bowl may have been sown during the early 20s when they were doing the deep plowing. With the onset of the drought in the 1930s, the overfarmed and organized land began to blow away, folks. It was just gone. Winds whipped across the plains, raising bowling clouds of dust in the sky. The, the sky could darken for days and even well-sealed homes could have thick layer of dust on the furniture. In some places, the dust drifted like snow covering farm buildings and homes. 19 states in the heartland of the United States became a vast dust bowl with no chance of making a living. Food, families, and farm families abandoned their homes and their land, fleeing westward. Yep, all headed westward to be migrate workers. The Dust Bowl it was a huge exodus of the largest migration in American history. Within a short period of time, between the 1930s and 40s, approximately 3.5 million people moved out of the plain states of those, which is also known, moved basically to California. And just over 86,000 people migrated to California. The numbers show that in Texas, 66,000 people left, uh, Arkansas, 30,000 people left, Kansas, 41,000 people left, Missouri, 56,000, and Oklahoma, 91,000 people had left. To stabilize, the government paid farmers and ordered more than 6 million pigs to be slaughtered. It paid 
to have the meat packed and distributed to the poor and hungry. The Federal Surplus Relief Corporation was established to regulate crop and other surpluses during this time. And it was just one of the greatest things because with the Great Depression, World War II, and the Great Dust Bowl, it was one hell of a time to be living. This is why we need to make sure that we are prepped in case of history repeating itself. It was a decade-long natural catastrophe of biblical proportions when the skies refused their rains, when plagues of grasshoppers and swarms of rabbits descended on parched fields. When bewildered families huddled in darkened rooms while angry winds shook their homes, pillars of dust choked out the midday sun, and the land itself, the soil they had depended upon for their survival and counted on for their prosperity, turned against them with a lethal vengeance. It was the worst man-made ecological disaster in American history when the irresistible promise of easy money and the heedless actions of thousands of farmers encouraged by their government resulted in a collective tragedy that nearly swept away the breadbasket of the nation. So on the next giveaway that's coming up, all right, you all are setting back and you're doing your prepping and everything else. You're going out and you're stocking up on your foods, your preps and everything. And I want to give you a hand in getting you something that will last you for 25 to 30 years. And what I am talking about is you have a chance today to win a 72 hour food kit from Four Patriots Food made right here in America awesome company great tasting food i have tried these these things are excellent i am not uh, affiliated with these i'm not getting paid to talk about this this is something that i'd like to give away to one of you out there lucky winners and this way here you have a little something that you could throw into your say your 72 hour kit or your backpack or anything else it's good to go you have some food to eat and it lasts for 25 years so the way that you go about winning one of these here 72 hour food kits is you have to comment on this video on the great dust bowl and hit the like button and do me a favor throw in a little extra share it with your friends and family and you'll be entered to win i will be announcing it on my live stream that will be coming up this coming weekend so everybody make sure you enter to win, very simple, hit the like button, comment, and share it with your friends and family. And this way here, you have a chance to win a 72 hour food supply kit from Four Patriots Food. You won't regret it. You'll enjoy it if you need it. And it's something great, lightweight, throw it in your backpack for your emergencies. All you have to do, like I said, like, comment, share. Good luck, folks. So as you all can see, with the Great Dust Bowl that had taken place, you had the Great Depression that was going on at the same time, and you had the mass exited from basically the middle, middle of the country and stuff, and everybody was headed like to California and the western states towards Washington and all out that way, trying to find work as migrant workers. You know, they didn't have any food, they didn't have any supplies, they didn't have anything. Anything they could load on those trucks, as you saw, and take it with it, their belongings. They lost their farms, their, their houses, anything and everything that they had was totally gone. There was no preparation. So what do you take back from this video is there is a reason why you need to make sure that you're prepped and ready for any type of situation. Do I think something like this is going to happen again? I really don't, but you never know. The way the world is going, the way the weather has been changing and everything else, we just don't know what the future holds and you're better to be safe than sorry. So this has been Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure that you're staying prepped, make sure that you're ready and make sure that you can weather the storm of any type, whether it be the Great Dust Bowl, the Great Depression of the 20th century, or 
anything that may come along and disrupt you and your family and your livelihood. Because when it comes down to it, folks, you have to be prepared, you have to be ready, and you want to make sure that you can secure, make sure you have food for your family to eat. I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners, and until next time, I will catch you all on the flip side.